We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that rhino horns have shrunk over the past century, likely due to hunting. Coveted curves march into view, pointed tusks of protein given artificial weight by greed and sport and lust. Captured portraits position polygons across the screen, centuries of colour that age and waste and bleed. Shifting perspectives captured in black and white to mark the passing of their mounting loss. This poem is inspired by recent research published in People and Nature, which has used an online repository of artwork and photographs to show that over the past century, rhino horns have likely shrunk because of hunting. There are five species of rhino in the world. These consist of two African species, black and white rhinos, and three Asian species, greater one-horned, Sumatran and Javan rhinos. Sadly, whilst there were likely more than 500,000 rhinos across Africa and Asia at the beginning of the 20th century, today there are less than 30,000 of them in the wild with poaching and loss of habitat putting all five rhino species in danger of extinction. The most common reason for rhino poaching is to meet the high demand for their horns in traditional Chinese medicine, in addition to their symbol of wealth and prosperity. This, even though rhino horns mostly consist of a fibrous protein called keratin, the key structural material that also makes up human hair and nails. By using artwork and photos from the Rhino Resource Centre, the largest online collection of information about rhinos, including thousands of images of all five rhino species, stretching back more than 500 years for artwork and over 150 years for photographs. Researchers have measured the horns of 80 rhinos, photographed in profile between 1886 and 2018. In doing so, they found that the size of a rhino's horn, relative to its body length, has decreased over time for all rhino species. The researchers think that this shrinkage is likely related to the selective pressure of hunting, Shooting rhinos with the longest horns has increasingly left smaller horned survivors, which in turn have reproduced more and passed on their smaller traits to future generations. However, this research also suggests that the relationship between humans and rhinos is becoming more positive, as whilst rhinos were once commonly depicted as hunting trophies, since the mid-20th century they have been increasingly portrayed in a conservation context, reflecting a change in emphasis from a more to less consumptive relationship between humans and rhinos. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Coveted curves march into view, pointed tusks of protein given artificial weight by greed and sport and lust. Captured portraits position polygons across the screen, centuries of colour that age and waste and bleed. Shifting perspectives captured in black and white to mark the passing of their mounting loss. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading A Rhinoceros and a Lion by Kaero Moriyama. Kaeru Moriyama was a Japanese poet who was born in 1899 and who died in 1974. His poetry collections include Ten Years, Fairy Country and Heart of Flowers, and his collected works were translated by Robert Epp. He was also editor of Four Seasons Literary Magazine. A Rhinoceros and a Lion by Kaoru Moriyama. 
A rhinoceros was running, a lion was clinging to his back, biting. Blood spouted up and twisting his neck in agony, the rhinoceros was looking at the sky. The sky was blue and quiet, the daytime moon floated in it. It was a picture, an accidental moment in a far country of jungles, so the landscape was silent. The two animals remained as they were, only in the stillness the lion was, moment by moment trying to kill the rhinoceros was eternally about to die. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.